explain ac generation throughout our daily lives majority of us depend on alternating voltages and currents most of the lights electronic devices and electrical appliances use alternating current ac is the form in which electric power is delivered to businesses and residences most of the sources of electricity like rotary electromechanical generators naturally produce voltages which are alternating in polarity reversing positive and negative over time and switching current direction back and forth This kind of electricity is known as alternating current. We already know that if a conductor is placed in a magnetic field and either the field or the conductor moves an EMF is induced in the conductor which causes the current to flow. This effect is called electromagnetic induction. The polarity of the induced voltage and the direction of current flow are determined by the direction the conductor moves through the magnetic field reversal of the direction of movement of the conductor through the magnetic field reverses the voltage polarity and the direction of current flow basically ac generation is done by an ac generator which works on the principle of electromagnetic induction an AC generator in its most basic form consists of several internal parts that function as a unit to produce alternating voltage and current. It consists of north and south pole magnets which create magnetic flux lines between them and a single rectangular loop of wire called armature that can be rotated around a fixed axis. Slip rings are mounted on a shaft to which each end of wire is connected. Also brushes on which the slip rings ride to enable current to be transferred to the main circuit. Now let's suppose that the armature starts rotating from a vertical position. With an initial voltage of zero. At this vertical position, we can observe that the armature is moving along or parallel to the lines of force. Consequently, it is cutting no lines of force and no EMF is induced. Now, as the armature rotates clockwise, it cuts more and more flux lines of the magnetic field per second and induces an ever-increasing voltage. When the conductor completes one quarter of a complete revolution or 90 degree of a complete circle, the voltage induced in the conductor is maximum because the conductor is now cutting flux lines at right angles. As the armature continues to rotate clockwise, it cuts the flux lines at smaller and smaller angles and as a result, the induced voltage decreases from its peak value. Once the armature loop reaches 180 degrees in its rotation, eventually, again, no flux lines are being cut and no EMF is induced in the conductor. Now, in the second half of rotation, the armature begins to cut through the flux lines in opposite direction. And as a result, the voltage induced reverses and becomes negative. This negative voltage peaks when the armature reaches 270 degrees as at this position, the flux lines are being cut at right angles by the armature. Now, as the armature continues to make the turn, negative voltage decreases as the armature again cuts the flux lines at smaller and smaller angles. And when the rotation completes one full cycle at 360 degrees, no flux lines are cut and zero voltage is induced in the armature. As the coil rotates within the magnetic field, the electrical connections are made to the coil by means of carbon brushes and slip rings which are used to transfer the electrical current induced in the coil. 
the continuous rotation of the armature maintains the alternating voltage output, which can be summarized using a table. Thus, AC generation employs the principle of Faraday's electromagnetic induction to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy in the form of sinusoidal waveform. Generally, it is done using an AC generator. Note that, assuming that a closed path is provided across the ends of the conductor loop, we can determine the direction of current in the loop by using Fleming's right-hand rule. Related terms are